Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, let's have a little life update. <laughs> So yeah, I'm shifting gears in my life and it's kind of awesome. So for 30, 33 years, I have been a dance teacher. For 26 of those years, I have owned my own studio and run a business. Um, since the pandemic, it has been not well financially uh, and things have been kind of rocky in that world. Uh, but now, I put the studio for sale and it has sold. And now I get to open up a whole new chapter and I'm very excited about it. So let me backtrack a little bit. I have been teaching dance since I was 13 years old and not just teaching at a studio. I started my own business, if you will, at 13 years old, teaching in the summer times um, just for like six six weeks and then I do a full on show at the end and it started when I was 13 and at 13 I taught in a church hall and we did our like little recital and then it grew and then I ended up doing it in like a school gym kind of recital with you know proper theater lights and everything anyway it started then so I've actually been teaching for 33 years. Now, it's not actually something I've always wanted to do, funny enough. Sorry, the window's open, there's traffic. I've got my little mic here, but I'm hoping that that helps a little bit. Um, I was really just never good enough at anything else. I, and before you say, what do you mean? You know, you did this for so long, you must have been good enough. It's not, it's not what, I, what I mean. It's more that I was never academically inclined, if you will. Um, I didn't do well at school. I barely graduated high school. But the reason I did graduate high school was because all my teachers knew that I was going to go into dance teaching or something of that nature, that it was I wasn't needing to go to university at that point. So there was like... I was good at that, but it wasn't necessarily what I wanted to be doing, but it was something I could do. So I did it. So, um, 26 years ago, I moved here and opened a studio at the age of 20. Uh, I was 20 years old and I didn't have any fear, obviously, cause I just, you know, started a business. Uh, I also didn't have a clue. <laughs> I did a teacher training program, dance teacher training program. Um, so I could teach, I, I was, wasn't good enough to go and be a professional dancer, to go away to like dance school and, you know, be a ballerina or a modern dancer or, uh, you know, the dream of <laughs> being a rockette. I was never good enough for that. I didn't have the body type. I was tall, had long legs, I was thin, but I didn't have the turnout, you know, the hip rotation that I needed, the... My feet weren't good, you know, stuff like that. I thought, well, I'll move to the other side of the island and I'll open a dance studio and nobody knows me and it'll be fine. So I kind of wanted to stay under the radar. Really felt like a fraud and kind of still do. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. No more now. But I, I really didn't, I didn't want my name on the studio like the title of it, like my dad wanted it to be Amy Andrews Dance Studio, but I couldn't do it. I needed to put a different name on it. Um, I didn't want a website or a Facebook page or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of stay under the radar because I really did feel like a fraud. Like I didn't, I shouldn't be doing what I was doing. Um, but anyway, I did it and met some amazing people. My lifelong, some best friends. Um, I helped, you know, some people find their passion, even though it wasn't mine. I have to admit dance isn't and wasn't my passion. I don't know what it is, what my passion is, but it, it wasn't that I did it because 
it was all I could do. My students have gone on to do fabulous, fabulous things. They've gone on to be professional dancers. Some of them are doctors. Some of them have, you know, gone into different areas of performance and actors. And, you know, I've, I'm very, very proud of them. And they, you know, they'd say that if I hadn't come and exposed them to dance and exposed them to the arts of this kind, that they wouldn't be where they are. And I don't know if that's entirely true, but I mean, I did, there was no dance studio here. So, and I guess in a way, but for some reason I could, you know, make people feel good about themselves through dance. Um, I choreographed some musicals and I could always make, you know, people who were uncomfortable community theater kind of situations, make people feel comfortable on stage, make them feel like they could, could do it. Um, but inside, like for me, I didn't think I could do it. I had very little confidence in, in me, but I could portray that to other people and make them feel like they had confidence. But again, I could, I could only do so much when it came to teaching. I would get to a point and it, once my students got to that point, I didn't know how else to go further. Um, thankfully I had a couple of my students who went into teaching and they went away and they came back and they had more knowledge to share. Um, like I really didn't have that in me to go and learn more and do more. I just, you know, I got to, I just, it wasn't my passion. I just wanted to get through the year every year. And every year after recital time, I just wanted to curl up in a hole and run away until I had to come back and face it again. And every September I dreaded it. I mean, we had great times in between, but there was those, those moments. I always used to say I used to hate September more than January. And January was always the horrible weather month just because I didn't want to face registration and scheduling and the demands that were put on me. I feel like I could have done so much if I had more education, like be it business marketing or even dance education. So I could have done more. I don't know. I don't know if, if that would have helped or if just because it wasn't my passion, if that was, it would have ended up the same. So anyway, I, I did it. I did it for, 26 years. And since the pandemic, business has not picked up again. So it was time for change. And I feel like this is the best thing that could have possibly happened is that, um, I put the studio for sale, we set, we sold it. I mean, it's not a done deal yet, but it's, you know, pretty close. And it's to one of my teachers who is one of my best friends. And it is pot, the best possible scenario that I possibly could have asked for. Um, so yeah, my midlife crisis has turned out so far. Anyway, it's, it's gonna, I'm going to come out okay on the other side of this. I'm, I'm positive. I'm positive. I will. I'm just spilling all of this to show that, you know, when I put out that video last week of my last Oh, there's a fire truck. Anyway, when I put out that video last week of my last show, I was getting a lot of mixed um, comments on it about, you know, some people were like, congratulations, exciting for the next phase of your life. And other people were almost like someone died. You know, it was that, are you okay? But I feel great. <laughs> I really feel great. I feel I'm excited for this next chapter. So I'm very ready for a change of pace, a change of really everything. Um, I have a part-time job that I like. I really want to do more uh, social media stuff. I really would love this channel to do something, but you know, whatever. Kind of got to see where it lands. So now, um, I mean, I still have the financial issues that I've talked about before. 
um, having not having the studio, losing money all the time will be a huge help with that. So plus my other job. So that's kind of things are looking up in that area. Um, I'm looking forward to doing other things, being a mom and actually focusing on that for a while because I've been doing this since I've, I mean, my kids have been there. There was no maternity leave. There was none of that. I, I just had to keep going. Um, I mean, I will still do shows. I will still do choreography if I'm asked. I might even still teach a class if Candace wants me to. But I'm, I need to have that chapter of being the boss over with right now. And I'm really excited about it. So um, I don't know if any of this made any sense or if it was even worth watching. But I feel like I owed an explanation. <laughs> um, so yeah. So what's next for me? I don't know. I am working uh, part-time retail and it's fine. I like it. And I'm hoping to do some social media stuff for them. We'll see about that. And I'm hoping to do something more with ye old YouTube. So hopefully we'll, you'll stick around. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan. I'm looking forward to spending time with my family and actually being present mom and not have to run off to class and rehearsal every night. And, um, actually, you know, I could do, still do choreography. I can still teach class if I wanted to, but it's not going to consume me in a way that makes me hate it. <laughs> so I know that sounds a bit harsh, but yeah, it's kind of, kind of it. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would give you a little quick, quick update video of um, what's been happening and some context to last week's video. And um, yeah, so I am going to be uh, doing different kind of content on here. I mean, I've been doing a lot of sit down, talk to the camera kind of content um, recently. I do have a couple more topics that I'm going to cover, but um, some vlogs coming up. Uh, we're going to be going to St. John's and thrifting, uh, went to some yard sales today. Um, so it's, it's time. So please just let me know in the comments, what kind of content you would like from me now that I can focus on me for a change. I know it's, it's I can't even say it without pause because it's what, what is that? I don't even know. Okay. Um, great. I'm hoping you're having a wonderful weekend and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.